So when I'm ready, just press play. Oh, this is old. Okay, they're using like so-called real footage. Shows the stress of the job. Shows, you know, some of the pressures you're under. Of course, it's slightly smooth for television. I remember this when I was really young. It didn't have much impact on me. Our sources tell us that this is a bomb factory. We need to storm it. Now, what would you do? I guess that's kind of based on the Iraq time, isn't it? It, it? Again, it's like the video game, isn't it? You know, it's not as interesting. You wouldn't do it as quickly as that because it's, you know, the threat would be too high. But I think it's quite realistic in terms of the senses it does here. I mean, the way this is, it looks like it's like this all the time. That's why, they, you know, you have to be so fit and strong because you're running around, you know, taking enemy out. I guess that interactive feels very interesting because people want a kind of, just a, just a little taste, just a little taste of what it's about. It's glamorising the whole notion of of conflict and that whole thing of questioning morality isn't it you know what what, what is right and what is wrong okay so this is the second one this is the army reserve okay this is a little bit abstract this one isn't it look there we go this is good stop it there so you work all week you know grafting and then at the weekend you just dump your family and go and blow up things. 50 cows in South Africa, that's how you want to live. On tax free bonus. Well, I hope he does. Well, this is the kind of imagery which you would expect at the Army Photographic Championships. You know, the, the kind of hero, soldier. It's making me watch it and then go, this is really cool to look at, this is really exciting. That one, I just thought it was utter nonsense. I think I can understand what they're trying to do. It's, for the reservists, it has to be a bit more glamorous because it's something you're doing as a part-time. Any job or anything, um, whether it be like a, a, well, an advertisement for the army or a job or for a film, they're going to show the cool stuff because I don't imagine it would be just as impactful if they said, you get to write reports all day and, and, um, and do admin. It's absolutely right that that reservists sit alongside regular people, regular um, service men and women, but yeah, I just I felt it was a bit over-glamorised. So I, I felt that sort of took some of the reality away from it. It's not all about adventures training, it's not all about travel, it's not all about money. From, from the offset, it looks quite dis disturbing. Some reference to Central Africa, Somalia, not Somalia, Sierra, Le Sierra Leone. Well, that's an interesting film, isn't it? It, it looks like, what, well, there's, there's riots going on, there's women in abandoned buildings, um, Helicopter flying loads of debris. Restoring normal days from Europe to Africa to Asia. That's what the British Army fights for. <laughs> Do you, it look, looks like to me like the, the Army have came, come in, completely annihilated the area, and now they're justifying it. Whoever made this was cleverly referencing things that the British Army has been involved in the past 20 years that people recognise. I think they're missing out on, on things like Afghanistan and Iraq, but I think post those two conflicts. I think it's kind of something they want to kind of just steer everybody away from and um, not ignore, but um, or turn attention away from it, but kind of look in a new direction and say, okay, that was, that's done. This is what we should be involved in as an army. So good, a good PR exercise, but not necessarily a good recruiting exercise. In terms of making it into something which is acceptable, is all palatable, or the, the just thing to do. You've got to go on the whims of politicians into some pretty strange areas and um, effectively just kill people. So it's a government organisation, so it, it, it's got to be apolitical and it's got to be absolutely honest. But then again, it has to be if you're honest about every job, no one would probably want to do it. People might look at those adverts and go, oh, that's, 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 that's not revealing enough information, etc. Um, it's, it's not the truth, 
there's so much more to it. Well, that's, that's not the point of those adverts, it's to push people forward, and then they have loads of time to do research. So it has to be an honest, um, an honest advert, and I think all of those are are within the bounds of, of, of expectation. It needs to sell the idea, it needs to get people to, to, join, to join it, so this is just a complete commercial venture. They could show you all this horrible stuff, they could, um, um, they, they could show you the worst parts of war, they could not have all these happy adverts and they could just be, complete, and, and be completely honest. And if you just make it all about that, then I think you recruit completely the wrong person for the job. Well, if they shown an advert with guys with missing limbs, and I don't think that would do anything for recruitment. You've been told to remove the barrier to kill, so no, no, what, no matter which way you were presented, that's what it is. Not all voices have the same weight. Um, and just because someone's talking the loudest doesn't mean actually they're telling the truth.